Okay, everyone, Matt from Panda Explores here. Um, got a bit of a different one today. Uh, decided to go out for a bit of a bike ride. Just haven't been able to film lately. Um, just been caught up with a lot of things. So, hopefully it's not too windy. It's a shocking day here in Melbourne. So, um, hopefully this comes out all right. So, today, what I've got here today is actually a building that's quite historic to the area. Um, it's just around the corner from my place, so I thought I'd go for a ride and um, show you guys what it is. So, right behind me here is the original Bundura Primary School building. Um, it's been empty for about 19, 20 years now. Um, built in 1871, it was originally called Janefield, which um, is anyone the local knows that the Janefield Mental Institution is literally just a K that way. Um, so, we're going to have a bit of a look around and see what's left. Well, as you can see, a lot of the asphalt's still here. Um, when they took down the building, they actually left pretty much everything here but the portables for quite a long time. So, just behind us there, we can see those cars in the distance. That actually used to be the playground. Um, the car park next to us here actually used to be the footy oval. And when we go around the other side, just through those gates over there, you can actually, part of the car park's still there from the school. So the school wasn't very big. Um, it's now moved down more central to Bundura. Um, we'll have a walk down there later on and just see what's left. So the school building here um, was actually one of three left of its kind in Victoria. Um, luckily this one was never actually altered. So what I have, I've got some photos at home of the school building just after it shut in 97 and it was basically from this angle so I'll put them in the video now so in the background all the portables would have been still there um, yeah so this building untouched um, the other two of its kind um, are further up north in the state and they've um, had some additions added on over time but as you can see it's one of the only standalone buildings of its kind in the uh, uh, sort of late-ish 1800s um, it wasn't a very big school for a, quite a long time. It was only um, the late 90s they decided to move it down close to Bundura itself. And um, the building's been shut ever since. So where we are now is actually where the portables used to sit. Um, you can sort of see the gaps between um, the asphalt here and you can also see the garden beds. Um, not too much left of it. That's I'm pretty sure that's the front fence. Um, ran just along up there. This has um, been, they've been sitting on this for quite a while, the developers. Um, when it was initially shut down, this whole area was going to be sold off for development um, when Janefield Mental Institution shut down. So with that too, they decided to move the school. And as you can see over time, it's starting to crack quite heavily just from no maintenance, but it's held up pretty well for 19 years, however long it's been. So as you can see, it's very simplistic. You can see, look at the rust holes through that the gutter. It's completely gone. amazing thing about the school is actually they did the right thing just after they shut it down. It was registered as a historic building in Victoria. So what they did was they actually barred up all the windows um, on the Plenty Road side. So the building's just actually off the Plenty Road exit on the M80 Ring Road um, in the northern suburbs of Melbourne. So you can see the windows still got shattered but they actually covered up the inside and um, put the bars in and also covered in the, the skylights. So where are we actually standing right now? It was actually the car park to the school. Um, the side fence is still there. That's probably one of the only fences original left. Um, the driveway's just there. So you would have come off the road. It was initially, it was a pain for people to actually get their kids from here because you had to park on the other side of the uh, of Plenty Road if you actually couldn't get a spot over here. So basically where that billboard is now was the actual footy ground. And um, I remember as a kid actually going past here when the school was open and you used to see all the kangaroos in the morning just going nuts just before school. The kids wouldn't be able to go on the field. So, so there's the peppercorn tree still here, still going wild. Section of the ring road was actually built. It 
actually put in this massive wall that runs the full length of the actual primary school. You can see it all the way down. You can see down to that silver car that actually goes beyond that. And it was basically just to shut the noise out so the kids could actually um, go to school in peace as they had for about a hundred years beforehand. So, all moved now. You wouldn't even know it was here if you didn't look. This whole distance we've just walked now was actually all just where the little portables were. Or portables, I should say. So you can see, there's just absolutely nothing left. Once the school shut down, they just removed everything out of here. This is the gardens in the centre, which just would have been all native trees they planted in the last few years before the school shut down. As you can see now, basically where the, the playgrounds were, is all just car park now. Where that big tree's in the background there, the back fence is still there. Uh, runs along here. But as you can see, most of the playground got torn out. Actually, there's a piece here that's... It's interesting. It's a big slab. This probably would be back basketball courts or something. As you can see. Oops. So it's actually a reasonably large school. Especially by the end. As you can see a lot of the pine trees are still here as well. From the initial 1896 or 1876 I should say opening. But in terms of portables, there's just, you see a few drains and that, but there's not really much here that shows that there was much of a school. You can actually see the veranda posts markings in the ground still. Over there as well, I don't know whether or not that was a bench, or if it was a sink. So we'll have a closer look and actually see what's actually left here. And still see the, the old PA system is actually still here intact, which is surprising. Most of the bluestone's still here too. It's um it was built solid. They definitely did that right. Let's see if we can see in. Still smells like a school in here too. Amazing. Still got lights in it. Luckily it was actually boarded up quite well. I don't think I'm going to be able to see much more than that. I have no idea what that is. That's amazing. It's been in 19 years and it's still intact. Unbelievable. I just can't look. It's even got the fan in the roof still going. But I'm just amazed by the lights. Usually they're the first thing gone. I mean, there's been people in there, but it looks like they've just gone for the um, the chalk. There's the door there. Someone's tried to open it from the inside and found that it's actually the padlock shut. So very well for itself. Well, that's all from the old Bandura Primary School here. It's a shame we couldn't get actually inside. It looked like there was it was still quite intact, and especially signs of people riding on the walls with chalk. It, actually, the classrooms might still have some things in it. It's just a shame I just couldn't lift myself over that ledge. So um, maybe another time we might have to come back and have a bit of a look. But make sure to um, give this uh, video a like, um, subscribe uh, for more videos. If you like these historical versions of um, abandoned videos or historical significant. Videos,
videos. I'm going to be doing more of them um, just around my area because there is actually quite a lot of early settlers that started out here. So, um, yeah, if you like it, support the page. Um, give us a subscribe and that just gives me motivation to keep um, producing videos. So, um, until next time, I'll see you then.